What is up guys? Welcome back to another JT React video and today we're in the kitchen because today we're actually going to try to make traditional scones. Last time we tried to make scones, we followed a what triple chocolate something. It was so good. They were really <laughs> really good but they weren't traditional scones so we wanted to try to make some actual traditional scones. What happens. Yeah so basically I was on stream the other day by the way if you haven't go follow me on Twitch and I was talking to everybody in chat and I was like listen tell me what are the two traditional scones and basically it came out to fruity and cheesy so with the help of chat i went and i got most of the ingredients like the raisins or what are they called salt sultans sultans or whatever i've never heard of that before they're basically raisins we got some raisins chat even told me how to put like jam on it butter so that way they don't get dry like i i listen we had a whole brainstorming session in the Twitch chat, and y'all helped me a lot. So hopefully, hopefully, we can make some actual traditional scones today. We're I'm, gonna... I'm just here. Yeah. I, <laughs> she's the one that she actually knows how to cook, so. He's just watching you. What? You want some scones? Hey, girl. We're in the kitchen. She thinks there's food yeah. involved. So, yeah, we're going to be making both fruity and cheesy scones today. So, yeah, um, we're going to try this. Wish us so, luck. Second time's the charm. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We got... I think everything we're going to need for both the fruity and the cheesy. I think so. And we are following the recipe from National Trust Book of Scones. The last one we used when we made the chocolate scones. They got fruit scones and then on the very next page, they got cheese scones. So, so I think we should just do it. We're going to follow this to a JT, use the scales and all that that we got and try to do it. So first things first, preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. What's that? Yeah. Oh, Hondo? Yeah. All right. 450 grams of self-rising full power. All right. We're using one of our 72 scales. There we go. Oh, man. Perfect. All right, 450 grams self rising flour. Boom. 115 grams of butter cubed. So half a cup is eight teaspoons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, all of this. It's the whole thing. Dang, it's a whole stick of butter. Cube on up. I gotta be careful. I've already, yeah. I already almost cut off my thumb earlier today, so. You're gonna rub this in with the flour with your fingertips. Not I'm, me. Yeah, I'm down to nine fingertips right now, so it's on you. <laughs> butter in there, so I reckon. So a whole stick of butter. Get to rubbing. Getting down and dirty this time, son. Down and dirty with the scones. That's a you hair. Little beard hair? Yep. Little beard hair never hurt nobody. Protein. I just rub butter all over myself. Now I try to wipe it off with the same hand I had butter on. Alright, we're going two hands in, so don't uh -oh. ask me for help on anything. How about? I'm a get, wee bit busy. Get. What is it supposed to do? I don't know. <laughs> sift the flour. Oh, we're supposed to sift the flour. Well, that's alright. It'll be alright. I'm sifting it right now. Yeah. Into a mixing bowl and rub in the butter using your fingertips until it resembles fine crumbs. So we need 85 grams of sugar. Oh, that's a lot of sugar. These are fruit scones, so I think they're, they're supposed to be kind of sweet. I'm just gonna smell like butter. Perfecto! Yeah, you're gonna be picking butter out of your fingernails for the next two weeks. Yep. I'm gonna sit down so that way I'm the same height as you. Does that make you mad? No. <laughs> Does it quite make me happy though? <laughs> I don't think this is what you're after. Be ready? Alright, so now 85 grams of sugar. I'm gonna go wash my hands. All right, and then we go in with 85 grams of sultans or AKA raisins. Like I said, I talked with chat and they were basically like sultans and raisins are kind of the same thing, except sultans are like more juicy. Like uh, raisins, raisins tend to be a little bit drier. They are just dried grapes. Yeah, pretty much. Dried grapes slash fruit or something. So we got golden and like the purple. So I'm gonna go in like half and half, just okay. so might as well. Hello? Sure. A little, it'll be a little extra fruity. All right, sultans, raisin. Boom. All right, now we got to beat an egg. I'm gonna take it out back. It's definitely. That was a little rough. I made a mess. Oh. You crack a shell in there? No. You did. My. Oh, I did. You did. Rip. My whole phone went through it. Gross. Yeah, I'm gonna beat it. Talk about my mama. You okay? Nice. Damn it, talk about my mama. Alright, now add in the one egg beaten. Some on the counter. Listen, we're a mess around here. Right. There's no we. Well, there is we. I made it. I'm about to say you're a mess. And then we gradual, gradually. You got it. Gradually. There we go. Add in 150 milliliters of milk. Can I go ahead and start mixing this? Yeah, together? you can mix that. Then we just start gradually adding it in. So I don't think you're supposed to 
you use all this milk. Because it literally says, brush the tops lightly with the remaining milk. Huh? We just need it to form a dough. Yeah. Ooh. Sounds moist. I hate that word. <laughs> Alright. Boom. <laughs> Alright, we're going to the counter. Kneading time. For me. Oh, Jesus. Rip. JT. <laughs> it's all in my crotch. <laughs> Sultane's on in your in your toes. Oh! Oh! Look like you peeled your skin off. <laughs> Dang, look at that. That look good. I'll just bake it like that. I'll just make one big ass one. Look at that. That's a scone right there, son. I Gosh, did that. I wanna just... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dang! Sucker is thick. All right. You gotta... Flour on her. Grease your pan as well. Yeah, this is working a lot better. Roll out to about two to three centimeters. Two fingers thick. Like, my fingers or your fingers? Probably mine. Yeah. I got big fingers. I'd say that's about where you want it. About like that? We're using the red one. It's kind of like a biscuit size. Here's our lightly greased pan. Ooh, it tooted. <laughs> Looky there, party. Absolutely beautiful. Look at me baking. I know, you're welcome. I got you to this point. <laughs> yep. I'm not a big raisin guy, but I think these are gonna be good. I was talking with Chad and they said, when you get them out, you put butter on top and then you put strawberry jam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they said butter first, then jam. Okay. Apparently, like, the butter helps keep it moist so they don't get all dry. And you basically want to eat them, like, pronto. Like, okay. as soon as they come out. Boom! That's eight of them. Eight fruity scones, son. Huh? On the pan. And now, it says to lightly brush the top with the remaining milk. Are we going to do that? Do we have a brush thingy? I don't know if we do or don't. Because, I mean, there is a little bit of milk left, so. Oh, yeah, we do have one. Look at there! I didn't even know we had this. Lightly is one swipe. Oh. I'm doing it how I'm doing it, all right? They'll be milky. I don't think that's the goal. I don't think so. I don't know why we're brushing it with milk, but that's what she says. All right. They look good, though. Here we go. Round number one. Fruity scones. How long? 10 to 15 minutes. Timer set. Now, I guess let's clean, reset. Yeah, I'm a little... <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a mess. Oh. Well, let's reset and then... Uh, Try it again. Start making some cheesy ones. All right, here we go. Take two. <laughs> this time, cheesy scones. So, you ready to get in there with your fingertips again? <laughs> yep. So it's basically the same thing. 450 grams of self-rising flour, cubed butter, mix it in until it resembles fine crumbs, then add in some cheese with it, mix that in. Salt and pepper? Yep, salt okay. and pepper. Yeah, basically the same thing. Then add in the egg, gradually add in milk. While she's doing that, I'm gonna start grating some cheese. We actually got some cheddar cheese here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the big cup. I'm gonna use the big cup. Did you just eat the cheese? That's some good ass cheese too. Oh yeah. Done. Mmm. All right. All right. Look at that. Wow. Dude, this is so much funner than just buying shredded cheese. Look at that beautiful tower of cheese. There's a beautiful mess in my camera. <laughs> like we're on a cooking show. I guess technically we kind of are. This is the quietest cooking show I've ever been I on. I know, we just sat here for like two minutes just in pure quietness. So we're gonna add in some of the cheese, but then this book says to leave some to the side to sprinkle on top so it has cheese on top. Bigger. I noticed from your um, last run, these had to be way smaller. Oh, really? Yeah, because that's what took so long for me to get them together. You got an eggshell on the actual thing. What? It's right there. Where? Right there. Oh. <laughs> hey, at least I missed the actual batter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fruity scones are coming out. Shoot. Those look pretty good. Well, I think you need to put some butter on them. Oh, yeah, true. Hit it with some spray butter. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. Top for butter. Now, I think we don't add the jam until we're about to eat them. Time to add some cheese, huh? Oh, yeah. Dude, this stuff's going to be cheesy. Mm -hmm. I'm here for it. You may want to turn your hat backwards on this one. Get in go mode. <laughs> Time to get served. Don't well, forget the spoon. I'm getting down and dirty too. Shut up. I went. I just did some really nasty stuff with my hands before this video. You did wash them though. I did. I wa I've washed them like three times. I'll st I'll stick with the spoon. We went fishing, catfishing. Now I was touching like dead bluegills and stuff. So you're doing great. Thanks. I took a really deep breath and then didn't let it out, so I was scared I was messing up. 
<laughs> you guys ever cook with JT in the kitchen? Be prepared to walk behind him cleaning up some stuff. He does his best. Hey, <laughs> I get the food made, Dang. That is true. Quit eating the Jeep. Why? I don't need any more. God dang it. I just cleaned my hands. Well, listen, this is dirty business for in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Some of the stuff you didn't mix together at all. <laughs> and for the cheesy ones, we're actually leveled up the cutter. So we're going a little bit bigger for the cheesy one. This is our dough. Oh yeah. Dude, I think one time we should just throw the whole thing in there. Just make one big old scone. At that, at that point, it's actually gonna be a stone. Not even a scone. Just a big ass stone. You, right. you go right ahead. <laughs> you got it. Start rolling. All right, time to cut them. Cheesy scone. All right, my hands are clean. For now. Man, this turned out so good. I know. They look really they good. They look great. I'm excited. There we go. First run. Cheesy scones. Going in. Woo! Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Starting now. I'm glad she understands my country bumpkin. All right. Clean up again. <laughs> Yay. Let's just put Maggie on the counter. She can just look at her like that. Well, you know, she wouldn't be opposed. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Easy scones. They for, fluffy. Yeah, they are. We also, we put them in there for like a minute and then realized we didn't put the cheese on top. So we ended up putting it on there. And there we go. Dude, those look really good. I think the cheese ones are definitely going to be your favorite. Yeah. Also, the shredded cheese wasn't shredding. It was just like a clump. So that's why it looks like that. But yeah, they dude. were lumping together. <laughs> those look good. All right. Tell me when. Yep. I can't wait to crack this open. <laughs> All right, pop the top. So this is my favorite thing about jellies and jams. Ooh! Hang on. Ooh, did you That's smell nice. that though? Not bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Let's spread some more butter on one of these. We're on both two of these. So chat told me, whenever you do the fruit scones, put butter on it first and then jam or jelly or whatever. Oh. Fruity scone, butter, and strawberry. Is that mm -hmm. what it is? Yes, yeah, strawberry, simply fruit. That smells really good. Okay, you ready? There we go. Fruity scones. The jam is definitely the move. That is so good. Mm -hmm. The raisin ain't bad. I'd eat the rest of those. Yeah. Dude, wow. That is so good. That is actually really, really good. Okay, yeah, these make the chocolate ones. Look like nothing. Mm -hmm. These are so dang good. Wow. I can't even talk right now. No. <laughs> that is so good. That's really good. <laughs> wow. Yeah, 10 out of 10. 10? 10 out of 10. These are so Low good. key. I'm going nine. I'm going nine and a half. Nine and a half. These are super, super good. But I think the cheese ones are going to be even better. So I'm saving my 10 for those. Mm. Uh, at least maybe. Maybe. If these are bad or worse than these, I'll bump this up to 10. But for now, nine and a half. That is so good. The jam. Takes it over the edge. Oh my goodness. That is so good. Definitely need some tea to wash it down. Oh, for sure. Definitely. Like, they're, they're not super dry, but they are pretty dry. So it's if just we like some, a biscuit to me. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we had some tea to wash it down with, yeah. All right. Gosh, it's so good. That is really good. Are we supposed to put butter on these? Yeah. Oh, yep. Okay. They said butter the, the cheese ones too. So. Okay. Ooh, these are still very warm. Yep. These just came straight out of the oven. So. Oh, gosh. They smell good though. They just smell like cheese. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Cheers. Cheesy scones. Oh. Wow. These are like the cheddar biscuits yeah. from Red Lobster. Yeah, but better because we made them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm glad I saved that 10 out of 10 because this right here ain't even getting 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. I can give two 10 out of 10s. Yep. Both of them are a 10 out of 10. Wow. That is so good. Oh my gosh. That is so <laughs> stinking good. Wow. Like I can't even describe it, but it, it's fluffy. And it's warm. Flaky. Mmm. Buttery. Cheesy. Uh-huh. You have to eat it as soon as it comes out of the oven. Uh-huh. The fruit ones sat for a bit while we were cooking these. They were still really but good. But they were still really good. But when they're warm like this. Man. Oh, my goodness. They gotta go buy more flour. Yeah. 
Y'all gonna have to excuse me. I need some time with this. I think I could body like 40 of these. Mm -hmm. Like no joke, I could sit here and eat 40 of these. And then 20 of the fruit ones mm -hmm. right after. The fruit ones would be like the dessert to these. Gosh, these are so, so good. Come here, you gotta share the wealth. Come here, Charlie. Yeah, these are dry. You can't have the fruity ones because they got grapes in them. But there you go. We all like. Well, they barely even chewed it, so <laughs> I'd say it's pretty good. Oh my goodness. We've tried a lot of things. This takes the cake. Yeah, this is the best, the, the two best things we've ever made or tried. Mm -hmm. Wow. We made these. We made these. We did this. Imagine how much better these would be if somebody that's been making them for like 30, 40 years. Oh man. Like somebody that don't have to follow a recipe, somebody that can just, they can they know it like the back they of their hand. do it. Oh my goodness, I bet they're so much better this too. This may be an abomination, but I'm gonna do it anyway. You're putting jam on cheesy, uh-oh. That might, might be the move. No, it ain't good. Mm -mm. No, but just butter on good these. Butter. All right guys, that is going to do it for us making actual traditional British scones. I'm gonna eat the rest of these. Yeah, these are these are really, really good. We gotta let your parents try these. Like they are going, this is like blowing my mind how good these are. My right dad's now. gonna love these. Yeah, they, like these make the chocolate scones look like an abomination, it to does. be honest. You know what, Never mind. We're not taking them to your parents because I want them for myself, so. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to watch this later and be like, they made scones and they didn't bring them. <laughs> but if y'all want to see us try to cook more British things, maybe we branch out from scones, maybe do like an entire meal. Ooh, that's... Listen. Maybe pushing it there, buddy. You got the hiccups? I do. <laughs> a lot of people have wanted us to make a full English breakfast. So... <laughs> I ate that too fast. Yes, you did. Y'all let us know what y'all want to see us try to make next down in the comments. But if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Drop a like if you want to see us make some more British meals, food, snacks, stuff like that. I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you go out today. Spread the love. Spread kindness. Do something nice on my day. I love you guys so much. I really do. JT. And Anna. We out. These were so good. So good. No. Hey. No. Hey. <laughs> <I> <laughs>